Ever wonder how huge companies get thousands of people working together, all moving toward the same goal? It might seem impossible, but there's a method behind the madness. It all starts with a plan, an organizational structure. This is the master blueprint that guides every action, big or small, within a business. This structure is the company's skeleton. It defines who reports to whom, how decisions are made, and how information flows from the top all the way down to the front lines. Without it, chaos reigns. No clear roles, no accountability, and no direction. People get confused, tasks overlap, and productivity drops. For example, in a small factory, a machine operator reports to a supervisor, who keeps things running smoothly on the floor. That supervisor then reports to a manager, creating a clear chain of command. Everyone knows their place and what's expected of them. A good structure aligns departments, clarifies responsibilities, and speeds up decision-making. It helps teams work together efficiently and avoid misunderstandings. In this video, we'll break down three key types, line structure, line and staff structure, and functional structure, so you can see how different companies organize themselves. Understanding these will help you analyze any company, spot strengths and weaknesses, and see how everything fits together. With this knowledge, you'll be ready to become a more effective team member and contribute to your organization's success. The line structure is the simplest form of organizational design. Straightforward, easy to understand, and highly efficient for small teams. Picture a small shop, a family-run business, or a local workshop where everyone knows their role and responsibilities. In this setup, authority flows directly from the owner to managers and then to workers, with no extra layers, departments, or outside specialists involved. This clear, direct chain of command means decisions are made quickly, communication is simple, and accountability is always obvious. The line structure works best for small, stable organizations where quick action and clear direction are essential for success. But there's a catch. Managers must handle everything themselves, from production and sales to personnel issues, often without any expert help or support staff. This can easily overload leaders, stretch their abilities thin, and limit opportunities for innovation or new ideas. The structure is rigid, making it difficult to adapt to change or encourage creativity among employees. As organizations grow and become more complex, the line structure's simplicity can quickly turn into a major weakness, holding back progress and flexibility. The line and staff structure is a powerful way to combine specialized knowledge with clear authority. It adds experts and specialists to support the basic chain of command, creating a more dynamic and flexible organization. These specialists don't replace the traditional hierarchy, but instead they enhance it by providing valuable input and guidance to decision makers. Line managers still make the final calls, but now they can consult with experts in areas like HR, finance or legal, ensuring their decisions are well informed and balanced. Picture a hospital. Doctors and nurses report up the line, following established procedures and protocols, while HR and finance staff offer guidance, support and expertise. But don't give direct orders to medical staff. This setup allows managers to concentrate on their core responsibilities and day-to-day -day operations, while specialists are free to tackle complex, technical or regulatory issues that require deep expertise. The result? Organizations benefit from better decisions, increased efficiency and a more adaptable structure. But it's not perfect. Sometimes line managers and staff experts can clash over priorities or disagree on the best course of action and unclear roles or overlapping responsibilities can slow things down or create confusion. Plus, hiring and maintaining a team of specialists can increase costs for the organization. Still, for growing organizations, this structure offers a valuable balance, combining strong control with the expertise needed to thrive in a complex world. The functional structure groups employees by specialty, finance, engineering, sales, and so on. Each department is led by an expert and everyone reports within their function. This setup is common in tech companies, where deep expertise is crucial. Specialization boosts quality and efficiency, and employees can build strong careers in their fields. But departments can become silos, making cross-team communication tough. Decisions that require collaboration can get bogged down, and accountability for results may blur. Still, for companies focused on standardized products or services, the functional structure delivers big benefits. The challenge is keeping departments connected and aligned with overall goals. There's no one-size-fits-all structure. 
The right choice depends on size, goals, and environment. Small businesses thrive with line structure. Growing firms benefit from line and staff. Specialized companies excel with functional structure. The key is matching structure to strategy, aligning people, roles, and communication for maximum impact. As you enter the workforce, observe how your company is organized. Who decides? How does info flow? Understanding structure helps you navigate, contribute, and lead. Mastering this skill is essential for future managers and engineers. Organizational structure is your blueprint for building successful teams and companies.